Very good evening and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fatih. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today at Qadaybiya Palace a number of royal family members, representatives, council members, senior businessmen and officials as well as intellectual and cultural elite and social networking activists. His Royal Highness affirmed that the cooperation with the Representatives Council continues to achieve national aspirations, serves public interest and increase national achievements, noting that the national decision has become joint as a result of democracy and cooperation between constitutional organizations. The Prime Minister asserted the unity of Bahraini people in various matters of national concern, affirming that the Kingdom will not accept the disruption of its march of development. He hailed the role of Saudi Arabia forward support and regional and international contributions to maintaining security and stability. His Royal Highness noted that the, pres the, pre the presence of those working against the interests of the kingdom and its people and create divisions in the Bahraini community is deeply distressing, expressing confidence in Bahraini people's ability to foil all such attempts. The Prime Minister hailed the election eligibility of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, congratulating the winners and wishing the other candidates luck in future elections. He highlighted the role of BCCI in commercial life and economic activity. His Royal Highness commended the role of Bahraini women in effective participation in various fields that serve development, progress and prosperity. He affirmed his follow-up on social media of issues that concern the community, highlighting its importance in reflecting citizens' interests. The Prime Minister praised Bahraini people's sense of responsibility, which which maintains the community's security and stability, urging to enhance communication between community members and to maintain its traditions. He called the guests to practice their roles and responsibilities of spreading awareness on the positive impact of social media and to restrict its users to employ it for the interest of the country.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gulabiya Palace a delegation of women from Muharraq where they expressed thanks and appreciation for meeting His Royal Highness and for the support they received from the government. His Royal Highness praised the honorable stances of Bahraini women in general and Muharraq women in particular and their distinguished national role in the country's march. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahraini women for their national contributions and affirmed the government's keenness to support support women and enable them to play their role in developing the kingdom through the enactment of laws and legislations that preserve women's status and rights. The Prime Minister highlighted Muharraq's history and the achievements of its residents who proved their patriotism to the kingdom. His Royal Highness hailed the achievements of Bahraini women and their national role in political, economic and social aspects. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahraini women who are characterized by perseverance, will and determination have overcome many challenges and become active partners in the national march. He also expressed pride in the distinguished position Bahraini women hold. His Royal Highness commended Bahraini women's dedication in caring for their families and raising generations of young men and women loyal to their country. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's support to women by providing various programs that enhance their their role in development and ensure family stability and cohesion. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's pioneering role in the Gulf in empowering women. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahraini women have established their status in all fields with their knowledge, dedication and keenness to develop national work alongside men. For her part, Anissa Ahmed Zayani delivered a speech in which she expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to the country and the citizens. Poet Hanadil Joda and uh, Dhamal Wajdan recited a poem expressing pride and appreciation for His Royal Highness's achievements for the nation and citizens. For their part, the delegation expressed thanks and gratitude for His Royal Highness's support to women and all Bahraini citizens. They also stressed that the interest of His Royal Highness in Muharraq has had a great impact on the city's cultural and urban development.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee's Hana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Ms. Hana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, second Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the Honorary President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and a number of their highnesses and board members. In implementation of the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy String Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that aims to develop government sectors, His Highness Sheikh Nasser launched the Istijaba program to develop the youth and sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser issued Resolution 1 of 2018 to form the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee to prepare periodic reports and recommendations on the youth and sports sectors in Bahrain for development and to achieve the objectives of the Council, determine the use of the budget allocated to the youth and sports sectors and ways to rationalize them, in addition to providing recommendations and proposals and the issuance of licenses to establish youth and sports authorities. His Highness affirms that launching the program aims to organize the government budgets for the youth and sports sectors and increase its income and its investments and establishments. His Highness asserted the necessity of cooperation between all affiliates of sports and youth sectors in the Kingdom and the follow-up and implementation committee. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, in which it approved the unified law combating commercial fraud and counterfeiting in the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC countries, approving the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee's recommendations on the articles of the law. The Council approved a draft law amending Article 24 of Decree 28 of 1999 on constructing and organizing industrial areas. The Council also approved the recommendations of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee on a draft law amending Article 34 of the Law of Proceedings before the Sharia Accords issued in Decree 26 of 1986. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, inaugurated today the Silwan Psychiatric Center, which is considered a new addition in providing the latest treatment methods in addition to psychological sessions and therapeutic counseling for different age groups. The Silwan Center adopts an exceptional vision in psychological care and provides multidisciplinary therapy and psychotherapy to support the patient's family. The center seeks to treat patients with the highest level of professionalism and invests the expertise of the best qualified medical personnel through the implementation of treatment plans and standards adopted globally in cooperation with government and private psychological institutions in order to improve the level of psychological services in the kingdom for the benefit of citizens and the society. The Minister of Information Affairs delivered a speech during the 7th Arab Youth Media Forum held yesterday in Cairo, organized by the Arab Media Forum at the Arab League headquarters in the presence of a number of information ministers and senior officials. He called for activating the role of Arab media in safeguarding cultural and civilization identity and reforming the media content. He added that it should increase the youth's awareness, protect them from extremist ideas, empowering them and enhancing their role as active partners in the overall development process. Aramehi praised the Bahraini-Egyptian relations and the strong cooperation in all fields under the leadership of both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He praised the strategic depth of Egypt and its stances towards the Arab nation. He reviewed the role of the media, its importance and its development on the international and regional levels and the opportunities and challenges it presents. He explained that there are greater opportunities for young people to innovate and work in the digital media sector. The 29th Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry Board of Directors Election Committee announced the board's membership winners list for the next four years. The committee's president, Jassim Abdel Al, stated that the number of voters exceeded 7,000, adding that 72 candidates vied for the board of directors' membership. He affirmed that the election were free of any notable violations except for an attempt to photograph election papers that was handled immediately.